Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about concentration units, mole fraction, molarity, and molality. Okay, this, this one is pretty simple, actually. The learning competency for this video is to use mole fraction and molality in expressing concentrations of solutions. And here are your specific learning outcomes. Quantitative study of a solution requires knowing its concentration. Concentration is the amount of solute present in a given amount of solution. So chemists use several different concentration units, each of which has advantages as well as its limitations. So here are the four most common units of concentration. We have percent by mass, mole fraction, molarity, and molality. Okay. So let's start with percent by mass. The percent by mass is also called as the percent by weight or weight percent. It is the ratio of the mass of solute to the mass of solution multiplied by 100%. So we can have the formula, this one, percent by mass is equal to mass of solute over the mass of solute plus the mass of the solvent. Because remember, solute plus solvent is equal to the solution, right? Then times 100. Or simply, we can have this one, mass of solute, over mass of solution times 100. Now, remember that percent by mass is unitless. Why? Because it is a ratio of two similar quantities. If it's grams, both grams will be canceled. So it's unitless. So let's have an example. A sample of 0 0.892 grams of potassium chloride, KCl, is dissolved in 54.6 grams of water. What is the percent by mass of KCl in the solution? So we are given the mass of solute dissolved in a certain amount of solvent. So the mass of solute will be KCl. Why is it KCl? Because remember, solute is the substance present in less amount. Since H2O is greater in number, 54.6, than solute or KCl, H2O will be the solvent. So since we're given the mass of solute and mass of solvent, this is pretty simple. We can use the formula like this, mass of solute over mass of solution, or we can make it like this. Mass of solute over the mass of solute plus mass of solvent times 100. So just um, substitute the given. So that would be 0 0.892 grams over 0 0.892 grams plus 54.6 grams times 100. So the answer will be 1.61%. Okay, it's really actually simple. Now let's have the mole fraction. Mole fraction is a unit of concentration defined to be equal to the number of moles of a component divided by the total number of moles of a solution. For example, I have a compound. So the mole fraction of component A is equal to the moles of A over the total moles of all components present in the compound. Like percent by mass, mole fraction is unitless because it is a ratio of two similar equations or quantities as well. So let's have an example. Determine the mole fraction of CH3OH or methanol and H2O in a solution prepared by dissolving 5.5 grams of alcohol in 40 grams of H2O. The molar mass of H2O is 18 grams per mole, and the molar mass of methanol is 32 grams per mole. So what we need to do first is to get the moles of each compound, okay? So let's have methanol. So methanol, 5.5 grams times the molar mass, which is one mole, over 32 grams. 32 grams should be in the denominator so that the grams will cancel out, leaving you the mole, which is equal to 0 0.17 moles. So we can also get the moles of H2O. So 40 grams times the molar mass, one mole over 18 grams, cancel the grams, you will get mole. So the mole of H2O is equal to 2.2 moles. Okay, then after we have the moles, we can now get the mole fraction of H2O and methanol. So 
let's have first the mole fraction of methanol. So that would be moles of methanol is 0.17 mole over 2.2 mole, which is the mole of H2O, plus the mole of methanol. Solving this, you will get 0.072. Now to get the mole fraction of H2O, it's the same, but this time, mole of H2O is in the numerator. So that would be 2.2 mole over 2.2 mole plus 0 0.17 moles, which is the mole of methanol. So this will give me 0 0.93, okay? Now let's go to the next um, unit of concentration, which is molarity. Molarity was defined as the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. In equation, it looks like this. Molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. Again, you just have to remember this. It's important to know that the unit of molarity is mole per liter. Okay, So when you see a number with a capital M, Always, like right away, think of mole over liter. I swear it would be easier. Okay, now let's have an example. What mass of Ki is required to make 500 ml of 2.80 molar Ki solution? So what is our plan? So personally, I would use the first given. The first um, number given is the volume. So right away, I'll start with volume. But some people, they want to start with the molar concentration. That's also fine. Okay, so from the volume of Ki solution, I can get the moles of Ki solution, right? And then using the molar mass, I can get the grams of Ki solution. So let me show you how it's done. So I'll have 500 ml. Since molarity is in liters, I want to convert this to liters. So times one liter over 1,000 ml, so that the ml will cancel, giving me liters. Now, which equation or which um, factor has liters in their unit? Correct, molarity, because again, it's mole per liter. So I will multiply this by 2.80 mole of Ki over one liter of solution. In that way, liters will cancel out giving me moles of Ki. Now, which one has moles of Ki? The molar mass of Ki, which is equal to 166 grams Ki over one mole of Ki. So mole Ki will cancel, leaving me the grams of Ki. So doing the math, I will get 232 grams of Ki. Very easy. Right. Next, we have molality. Molality is the number of moles of solute dissolved in one kilogram of solvent. Okay, again, it's important to know it's solvent, not solution. It's kilogram, not liters. Okay, so just remember this equation. So for example, um, we want to prepare one molal of sodium sulfate. So to prepare one molar sodium sulfate, we have to dissolve one mole or 142 grams of the substance in 100 grams or one kilogram of water. Now, depending on the nature of solute solvent interaction, the final volume of the solution will be either greater or less than 1,000 ml. It is also possible, though very unlikely, that the final volume could be equal to 1,000 ml. Okay, so let's have an example. Calculate the molality of sulfuric acid solution containing 24.4 grams of sulfuric acid in 198 grams of water. The molar mass of sulfuric acid is 98.09 grams. So right away, I'll write the equation, the formula. To calculate the molality, we need to know the number of moles of solute and the mass of the solvent in kilograms. So the moles of H2SO4 is equal to the given 24.4 grams times its molar mass, which is also given 
0 0.09. So I will multiply this 24.4 by 1 mole over 98.09 so that the grams will cancel, giving me the mole. So this will give me 0 0.249 moles of H2SO4. Then we can now get molality using our formula, right? So small letter M is equal to 0 0.249 mole sulfuric acid over 0 0.198 kilograms of water. Sir, where did 0 0.198 kilogram come from? It's in the given. So the given is 198 grams of water. I just converted it to kilograms. So doing the math, this will give me 1.26 molal. Okay, now let's compare the concentration units. You have to remember that the choice of concentration unit is based on the purpose of the experiment. So for example, um, the mole fraction is not used to express the concentrations of solutions for titrations, but mole fraction is more suitable for partial pressure. Okay? For molarity, it is easier to measure the volume of a solution using calibrated volumetric flasks than to weigh your solvent. So for this reason, chemists usually use molarity. On the other hand, molality is independent of temperature. Okay, remember, concentration is expressed in number of moles of solute and mass of solvent. And the volume of a solution typically increases with increasing temperature. So if your sample or experiment is dependent on the volume, or if you're studying the volume, it's best to use molality. Now, percent by mass is similar to molality. It's also independent of temperature. Furthermore, because it is defined in terms of ratio of mass of solute to mass of solution, we don't really need to know the molar mass of the solute anymore to calculate the percent by mass. Sometimes, in some problems, you need to convert one concentration unit of solution to another. So let's have an example. Let's have two. The density of a 2.45 molar aqueous solution of methanol is 0 0.976 gram per milliliter. What is the molality of the solution? So you're given molarity and you're looking for molality. So what are we going to do? To calculate the molality, we need to know the number of moles of methanol and the mass of solvent in kilograms. Since the given is molarity, we assume one liter of solution. Okay, so therefore, the number of moles can be easily solved. Okay, let me show you. So I'll start with one liter of solution. So I want to convert this to ml. So I'll have 1,000 ml. To cancel ml, I will use the density of methanol. So times 0 0.976 grams over 1 ml. So this will give me 976 grams of methanol. So this is the total mass of 1 liter of 2.45 moles of methanol. We now have the mass of solution, or the total solution, which is 976 grams methanol. What we need to do is to get the mass of solute and subtract it from the mass of solution to get the mass of H2O. So that would be equal to 976 grams of methanol or the mass of solution minus the mass of solute or the mass of CH3OH. So to do that, convert 2.45 moles of methanol to grams using its molar mass. Okay, so this will give us grams, grams, right? This one will cancel out, giving you grams. So this will be equal to 898 grams of H2O. Now that we have the moles of solute, which is 2.45 moles, and the grams of water or the mass of solvent, we can now get molality. So that would be 2.45 moles of methanol over 0 0.898 kilograms of H2O. Okay, divide this two, you will get 2.73 molal. So let's have the last exercise. 
calculate the molality of 35.4% by mass aqueous solution of phosphoric acid given the molar mass of phosphoric acid, which is equal to 97.99 grams. In solving this type of problem, it is convenient to use that we start with 100 grams of the solution. So if the mass of phosphoric acid is 35, so we can say 35.4% of phosphoric acid is equal to 35.4 grams. So if the mass of phosphoric acid is 35.4 grams, the mass of water must be 100 minus 35.4, which is equal to 64.6 grams. So since we know the molar mass of phosphoric acid, we can get the moles of phosphoric acid. So moles of phosphoric acid is equal to 35.4 grams times 1 mole over 97.99 grams. So in this way, grams will cancel giving you the moles of phosphoric acid, which is equal to 0.361 mole. Now we have the moles of solute. We have the mass of H2O, although in grams. We can now get the molality. So that will be 0.361 mole of phosphoric acid over this one, but in kilograms. So that would be over 0.3. 0646 kilograms of water. So solving this, you will get 5.59 molar.